They see. Wow, it's been a while. Yeah, I haven't made a video in a, in a few months now. Um, hope you're doing well. I um, was in the mood to make a quick little vinyl update. Um, not sure what the number is anymore. Um, yeah, I I've got Saturday evening to myself. Uh, I thought I'd just open a beer. This is the a Garage Project beer. It's um, brewed here in New Zealand. Very simple. Um, I guess it's like a pilsner. Um, very drinkable. Um, nothing too fancy. Um, yeah. Um, hope you're doing really well out there. It's um, getting into summertime here in New Zealand. Um, today is the first of December. Um, this whole thing here is for Movember. It's not. I'm not doing it as a permanent thing. I just thought I would give a moustache a grow, um, so it will be shaved off tomorrow. Should be shaved off today, but I thought I'd leave it on for the video. Um, yeah, so 1st of December. What else is going on? Um, nothing much really, just, just chugging away. Um, yeah, I just thought I'd get on and make a video. Um, yeah, nothing else to say apart from uh, records. Um, so what is playing in the background is this thing here. I like to play something that probably won't get picked up by the Googles and the algorithms and get get this video blocked. But this is um, a box that I've shown before. It's called New Zealand Electronic Music. Um, and it's a three LP set of really interesting um, experimental New Zealand avant-garde, I guess, um, I guess you would call it. I don't know, bloopy bloopy electronic avant-garde stuff. Yeah, um, really interesting. I barely listen to this. I should give it, give it more. So that's what's playing. Cheers. Um, this is an absolute classic record I could never get my hands on. I'm really happy to get one at a record fair a few weeks ago. Um, I don't need to speak about this record. Uh, it's, it's an amazing, um, you know, Northern Irish punk classic. Um, really, really political, um, really of its time. I did know a few of the tracks on here, but I'd never heard the full album in its entirety. So I knew um, Sus 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 uh, Suspect Device and uh, Alternative Ulster. Um, but yeah, there's a lot more to that than this. Uh, Wasted Life is really great. I actually really like the Johnny Was version on here. Um, but yeah, this is fantastic. Um, on Rough Trade Records from 1979, this is a lovely UK pressing. Um, yeah, and we also have the track called Rough Trade on here, which apparently is not about the label. Um, yeah, very cool. Very cool to find this for a really, really, really good price. Um, yeah, fantastic. Um, Alright, I did manage to get this from a Facebook Marketplace thing. Um, one that I'd seen the cover, but I wasn't super familiar with. Um, I'm going to turn this down a little bit. It's kind of getting a little bit loud. Um, Ombushman Total, um, I recognise the name from that um, Tropical Drums of Deutschland compilation that came out a few years ago. Um, and yeah, this is kind of a very, very similar vein. Um, very percussive, um, I mean essentially it's, you know, a kind of German guys, it's, you know, you could say it was a quite rock record. Um, very percussion heavy, um, some, you know, a lot of African instrumentation, uh, kalimbas, um, stuff like that. I think this is decent. I think it's solid. I think it's worth a listen. I don't think it's absolutely amazing. Um, interestingly though, this is a dead stock copy that was found um, in a warehouse or something a few years ago. And it was sort of reissued, but they were originals. Um, so this is like a dead stock copy of an original. Um, so this is an original pressing, obviously. Uh, High Fine Music. Yeah, check it out. Uh, I think it came out in 1981, so some of the production does sound a little bit cheesy, um, but there's some really interesting sounds on here. Yeah, um, on Bushman Total. I don't know. How, I don't know what to compare it to. Um, I guess percussive tribal, which I fucking hate that description. Um, yeah, cosmic. Not really. Kind of. Um, yeah, it, it's it's worth listening. I'm not sure if this will, you know, be a permanent record that will live in my collection forever. Um, you know, I wouldn't say it was going to be hard filed for a long time, but um, I'm enjoying it at the moment. Um, so yeah, that's that one. One that will be uh, hard filed in my collection forever. 
uh, is this record that I absolutely love. Um, I'm really happy to get an original of this. I discovered the this record through a reissue about seven or eight years ago, um, and I've always wanted to get an original copy of it. Um, the prices on this have sort of been going up and down like the past couple of years. Like about six months ago, this was like really, really high, and it dropped for some reason. You know, the last four months, um, and I grabbed a copy. It came all the way from Mexico, and it was actually. Um, it wasn't sealed, but it had the laminate all over it, so I was really happy um, to get an original copy of this um, on the Philips label out of Mexico. And this came out in 1986. Um, I have talked about the reissue before, but this is an amazing synth record out of Poland. Uh, Poland. What am I talking about? I've been watching the uh, World Cup highlights, and I just watched the Poland highlights, so that's why I'm saying Poland. Um, out of Mexico. Um, and yeah, it's it's sound. It's got traditional Mexican in, instruments mixed with um, really interesting um, keyboard synthesizers, um, stuff like that. But yeah, you've got like you know o ocarinas, a whole bunch of yeah interesting stuff. Um, I'm really not doing this justice at all. Um, I do love this record. I've talked about it before. Um, George Ray's Antonio Zapeda. I'm not going to pronounce it because I will butcher it, but uh, yeah, this is a really, really special, really precious record. Um, I think it's very, very interesting. Um, yeah, and I absolutely love that cover, you know, uh, it's really fantastic. So this was, yeah, if I, if I made a video, which I might, of kind of like my favourite pickups of the year, this would be in there, just because um, it brought me lots of happiness when, when I finally got a copy. I also picked this up on Facebook Marketplace, which was weird for New Zealand, um, one that I didn't have. This is a Popoville from 1981. Um, this one is very much about choral and vocal um, sounds. Lots of massive, massive voices and um, yeah, it sounds very holy and big and powerful and dramatic. Um, it's very interesting. It's, it's, it's not my favorite. I mean, it's not very... There is not, hmm, yeah, I wouldn't say there's much variation in it, um, but as a sound, it's very interesting. Um, I'm definitely glad to pick it up on the cheap and check it out. Um, yeah, I've not seen the movie, but uh, um, yeah, I think it's pretty decent. <laughs> Sorry, I'm feeling a, a thing of a blah on this one. Um, worth a listen, and it's on the um, Klaus Schutz's label, Innovative Communication. Yeah, there we go. And then the last one, um, one I've been after for like 15 years. I can remember people talking about this on the VC right in the early days, and I had no idea what it was. And I didn't know, I was like, what is that cover? I don't know who these people are, I don't know what ECM was, but I remember thinking, oh, this is going to be interesting. Um, yeah, and I, I've wanted a copy for a very, very long time. It's one of the few ECMs now. I've got a few, a couple left that I really, really want. Um, this was one of them and it's popped up again on Facebook Marketplace, so I was really really happy to finally get a copy um, If you know this, you know this. Um, it is an absolute monster <sighs> I don't know how to describe it. Spacey, psychedelic, avant-garde, noisy, free jazz. It's like, it's, it's perfect. Um, it, it fits everything I love into a record. I think it's the best DCM record for me Surely it's it's up there. Um, yeah, I, I think it's fantastic. Eberhard Weber, Fred Bracewell, Wolfgang Gdowner. Um, yeah, I was really, really happy to get this um, for, for a really, really decent price. Um, yeah, I don't know. I remember like years and years ago, like I heard about this in the VC. I can't remember who showed it or talked about it. And then a month later, I saw a copy in a record store and at the time it was like 50 bucks. And I thought that was way too much, and I just heard about it, so I didn't really know how hard, you know, how hard it was to find. And I always regretted not buying it after not ever seeing a copy ever since. And then yeah, this popped up, so yeah, very happy. Uh, Wolfgang down at Output, really fantastic. Um, yeah, that was all. Um, that was that was kind of quicker than I thought it would be. Um, yeah, I might do like an end of end of year review video. Um, see sort of like my best finds of the year kind of thing. Um, yeah, I've kind of really slowed down on buying records this year, as you can probably tell by the videos. Um, 
I guess things are just bloody expensive now. Like people who are buying crazy rare records now at Discogs prices are, are fucking idiots because it's absolutely stupid some of the prices and things. Um, I just don't know how some people do it. I see some videos on YouTube, on YouTube and I go, man, these guys must be getting these cheap or they're millionaires. Um, Cause yeah, I always, I always kind of think I'm a bit of a tight ass with records and I'll always try and get a deal where I can. Um, yeah, yeah I, just, I just don't know anymore. It's kind of, it's kind of crazy. Um, it's getting harder and harder to justify, I have to say. Um, but yeah, but in saying that, like I'm literally, the camera is on top of my record collection. And when I'm standing here talking, I'm just looking at it. I'm like, man, I've got some great records. Like, I'm just gonna pull out, let's pull out some random records. Okay, number one, that's a great record. What else have we got here? Max Roach. This is the jazz section, by the way. Let's do some random, let's do some random polls. What have we got here? Um, it's not quite random, is it? Maybe I should, I won't look. Okay, this is gonna be blind, blind testing. What have we got here? Oh, two blue notes, that's completely um, random. I'm gonna have to file these all back again. I'm kind of regretting this already. Um, let's go into here, what have we got here? Great record. This is kind of fun. Let's go under this section here. Oh yeah, God, I haven't played this in ages. Johnny Harris, maybe I'll pull that out. Anyway, I've got it, yeah, I just, sometimes I kind of forget when I don't see. You know what? I should play this. I haven't played this since I got it a few years ago. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pull this out. Um, anyway, yeah, I don't know, like, I'm finding it really hard to spend on records these days. Um, that's the end. Um, yeah, I'll uh, talk to you all soon. Sorry, this is, feels like a very like chaotic, all over the show kind of unplanned video. Um, don't know. All right, see you guys. Bye.